everyone I am pretty excited to share this with you this is my 99th sketchbook um, it's not complete but I am so excited to start the 100th one um, that I kind of want to be done with this one so um, I might revisit it later I might fill in some of the pages I might not um, but I wanted to kind of show you the direction my art is headed which is really new and exciting for me um, and uh, kind of get prepared to start my 100th one I don't know why I just feel like the 100th one has like so much I don't know excitement about it like I can't believe I filled a hundred of them at least well 99 now um, I know that there's other ones out there um, probably at my mom's house from when I was really young but um, yeah I have 99 at least in my house which is crazy without any more delay let's get into it uh, this sketchbook is one that I made um, my fiance and I have a shop where we make sketchbooks this is what we call it home it's traditionally bound like on cords it has a leather spine um, this one has Sailor Moon like manga panels on it um, here's the back um, we don't really make any with these Sailor Moon ones on um, our shop just now we have other ones like other fandoms and stuff um, but we would like to make some Sailor Moon ones in the future so if you're interested let me know um, and then we will make them sooner but um, yeah, so this is the book. This is my 100th one. Um, it's all ready to go. I put some stickers on it that say 100. Um, and then, like, the cutest picture ever. And then here's the back. Hopefully. I really hope it's focused. Um, so, yeah. That's ready to go. But here's this one. Um... I started it in September, the end of September it says. Um, I have not looked through this since I, like every time I do something I just kind of like flip to the next page and I don't really look at it again so we'll see together um, kind of what's going on. Some color pencil and watercolor. I always get asked what this pink is. This is um, Shinhan Pass. It's literally just called pink, but it, it looks like a highlighter. Um, so I remember the beginning of the sketchbook and really the last like, I don't know, two years or so I've been in this really bad place where I don't, I feel very self-conscious, everything I'm interested in, um, isn't what I'm putting out onto the internet and I kind of have... I'm trying to not be so worried about that anymore. Ooh. <laughs> um, so, um, I guess I'll, let me go back to this. Um, so I really got into inks and drawing with ink and all of that and um, my focus was like loosening up with my line work and not being too precious and um, kind of letting myself be wonky and weird and all of the good stuff that I really like. Um, I have noticed that something that I've always wanted to do was draw things that I love and I'm really into um, manga and anime and all the stuff that like I grew up with. I love video games and this is all stuff like when I went to college for art I was told that that was not really art. Um, not like explicitly, but I mean they even deemed like illustrators like just not oil paintings as like lesser art, which is insane. Um, so I'm trying to unlearn all of that because I don't believe that and I don't, I've never really believed that, but um, I kind of trained my brain to think that, okay, high art, good art is art that's um, representative of the real world. It's oil paintings, it's like, you know, 
stuff you would put in a gold frame, like, you know, stuff I'm not into. Um, so I'm trying to like tell myself that it's okay to just do art and just make things that just make me happy. And there doesn't have to be a deeper meaning. It doesn't have to be professional, perfect. It doesn't have to be the best thing I've ever drawn. Um, I feel like this has, this sketchbook has kind of helped me get over that. Um, so a lot of the times I'll do pages like this or I'll write down things that I'm thinking. Um, and a lot of it is like, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? I'm an idiot, like stuff like that, because I'm going through this like really like transformative part, even though it didn't feel like it when I was going through it. Um, it kind of feels like it now, like I recognize that these are just like the growing pains of like letting go of all of the like academic thinking about art. Um, that's long winded and not interesting at all. So let's go. <laughs> um, so I've really wanted to draw characters for a long time. It's something I did for the majority of my life until I got into college. Um, I was really interested in Sailor Moon. Like I remember scribbling like Sailor Moon characters down like when I was really little. And then when I was like in middle school, I was super into Sasuke from Naruto. So like I've, I've been through it all. I've been drawing these things for a long time. And then it kind of hit me that like it was in college that I kind of thought that that stuff wasn't okay, but it's like the stuff I like. I mean, I'm not into Sasuke anymore, but like, you know, I I love that sort of thing. And it's the stuff I grew up on and the stuff I'm interested in. And I feel like the older I get, the more I'm interested in like returning to like my younger, happier, carefree self. And um, can't really tell from this yet, but we'll get there. Um, but this is a Genshin character. Um, this was my first kind of try with, not my exact first, like there's actually, weirdly enough, I have this sketchbook right here. Where is it? So see, this is like the kind of wonky weird stuff I like. Um, oh, I thought it was in here. I could be wrong. Well, I've been drawing like these characters for a while. I'm definitely wrong. It's not in this one. <clears throat> like here you go. Um, but I've tried before to draw characters and use the same sort of technique that I use in like my like color pencil work because those are two things that I love and I wanted to mix them. Um, at this stage, I'm realizing that I overwork things and so I kind of quit and then we moved on to another one. I was like, no, nah, still overworking it, putting way too much um, pigment down. There's like some studies in there that we don't need to get into because that's not my original work. Um, but yeah, the sort of idea of like doing characters but incorporating really bright neon colors um and textures that i'm like really into um that's supposed to be usagi but it looks like zelda to me so um you could tell i'm in the weird transition spot like i'm confused and frustrated with myself some mushies <laughs> Um, I think I did this on stream, just sort of like um, drawing from reference. And then this is where it all like explodes. So this is a drawing of Mona from Genshin. And I did this on stream, um, which was crazy because I really thought for our first stream like it would have been like a train wreck but um i feel like i got it um like i was i did the character thing i kind of transformed it into my own language without um like fully like one-to-one -one copying the reference material i put all my colors into it i was it's kind of wonky it's a little bit unfinished but like it's that raw sort of weirdness that i'm into um, so I really feel like I 
I did something here. I think I'm gonna make prints of it eventually. Um, but yeah, I just, like this kind of catapulted me into being uh, a little bit more free with my work. And I really, really love this page. Okay, from there, there was a day two of stream. And if you don't know, we, we stream on Twitch, my fiance and I. So if you want to watch, that would be really cool. Um, the link will be in the description part. But yeah, so there's a second day and I asked what character and um, someone said Bennett. And I was like, okay, and please, this poor little baby is cursed. <laughs> but that's okay. I tried and I quickly gave up. Um, Sometimes you gotta know when something's not working out. I mean, it's still got the the color situation that I'm into, but it just, it wasn't working. So we skipped that one. Um, but then we moved to Beto and I like this. I don't feel like I did her justice, but um, I still like it. I could tell that I'm, I, overworked this one, I think, as opposed to the Mona one. Oh God, the Bennett. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about the Mona one that just feels like more like spontaneous. And I think trying to ride on that sort of wave, you're not going to be spontaneous anymore. Um, so yeah, Beto. Um, just some Mm, what's that called? Graphite. <laughs> Some more. I really liked this face, which is why there's exclamation points. This is like the stuff that I draw. Like I start out and it goes to shit and I write text on it. And I feel like not a lot of people show like their horrible, ugly stuff, but it, this is filled with ugly stuff. And it says, I don't know. And that's okay. I feel like that's my motto. There's not much to say other than there's cat hair. It's like swatches. I actually like how these swatches look. They're very messy and this kind of looks like Usagi. <laughs> or maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. It says I still don't know. Oh, and then I did a video on this. This is Albedo. Um, I did like a full illustration of this, which like, it was okay. I like it well enough, but it's not, um, it's not loose like I want things to be. So it's just another step in the whole like journey of figuring out my, my shit. So uh, that's the uh, transfer thing. This I did on stream, this was a mess. That day was a complete mess and I was so frustrated with myself and um, yeah, but I actually really like aspects of this. I can tell I just get too like caught up. Like this part is super interesting to me. Like, let me see if I can. Yeah, it's like, you can see all the different colors in there. There's the lines, it's sketchy and weird, but then like I go to the face and I'm clearly like overworking it. And I feel like that just comes with my lack of confidence with characters at the moment. I used to be like, you know, anime queen back in the day, but I don't, I don't know what is happening. It's just new, I guess, I forgot. But yeah, so there's aspects of this I like, but you know, whatever. Um, and then I'm trying out different um, sorts of lines and how to draw things. I'm just, it's all like the same sort of thing. Um, these I'm using like, uh, they're Ecoline brush pens. They're just like markers. <laughs> the longest neck <laughs> says, this is abnormal. And then this happened. Okay, so like I have chronic baby face. I don't know if anyone else, like not only does my real life face look like a baby, but um, 
Uh, I feel like no matter what I do, no matter what I try, like every character I make looks like a little baby. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna lean into it. And this, I feel like this was like, this is it. This is me realizing, oh, I actually really like drawing characters with baby face. Um, I don't, they don't have to be like hot men or anything, like I'm, I'm doing it. And so I really like this, um, this spread and it felt like really transformative for me. Like I felt really comfortable. Um, this also comes from, I did, let me click it. This is the one week sketchbook. There's a whole flip through of this on the channel. Um, but there was a page in here that kind of helped help me realize that baby face was okay this one i feel like there's no expectations of this one and i i feel like that's why it's so like it really grabbed me i'm sure you look at that and you're like okay it's like a kid with a big forehead but like i don't know it's like it was really exciting to me and it's something that i reference all the time now um but yeah so that's how these were born these are also characters from, it's a character from Genshin, so it's this. Um, at that moment, I was kind of just like rapid fire looking at references and just trying things out. Um, same with this. I just tried to push up my glasses and I am now realizing I'm not wearing my glasses, which is why I can't see anything. Um, more Genshin. I know, it's a lot of Genshin, but that's like just easy like I think about Genshin a lot I play Genshin a lot so like I I see it and I'm like okay I'm just if I feel like drawing I just pick a character and go um these are stickers um that I made they're like the weird weird cuts let me uh where did I put them they're in one of these books I say this all the time on Patreon, but my desk is a mess, and I mean it. Oh, here it is. So we are making stickers, like that is something that I really want to do. Um, so I designed these Usagi's and um, Ace Bright, which is like a pixel art thing. I'll show you. This was our first test, so the colors aren't um, perfect, but um, I'm really happy with them. So, yeah, we're trying to make a whole bunch of these, me and my fiance, before um, the holidays, so we can maybe like do a collection release, but we'll see how that goes. Um, this stays in here. Um, so yeah, those are just like the, the rejects. Okay, here it is, here it goes, this is it. This isn't the first one that I did that's got this vibe. Um, it's the first one in this sketchbook. I think there's some in this one. I know, I have like a million sketchbooks and it's really bad. Yeah, here. Let's see. Okay, so the first one for sure, I know this is a mess. This is not just one sketchbook torn out, it's a million. Um, the first one is this, which was a Patreon print. Um, I just, I don't know what happened, like what compelled me to do this. It was like, there's collage in there. There's every type of ink and um, marker. And there's a little bit of watercolor. Like it's just, it's insane. And um, I love it. And this kind of like sparked the whole thing. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna continue with this sort of, I love writing text. I like kind of putting a narrative in there without like, actually putting a narrative in there um and i think that with like the bright colors like it's just totally my thing um so from there and then i was also doing things like this which is just kind of like uh like i was actually really upset when i made this one because i hated it I'd, like there's like a wonky little dude and like i like him and everything but um i just felt like Oh, come on. Like, I know I'm capable. Like, what is happening? Um, the same with this one. There's, like, a little bit of collage. Um, this was all in stream, which is rule number one is when you're in a transformative period, don't stream it um, because you'll be stressed. 
Um, then I did this one and I started to like incorporate stickers and I was like, oh, this is something. And then that kind of turned into this, more collage, more stickers, and then this, which is even more some weird characters, my wonky lines, um, just like complete wild sort of things. Um, I'm sorry if you hear that construction, that's really annoying. And then there's this one, and this is kind of like where, where we ended up. Um, so there's just like stickers and text and wonkiness and collage and color and it's weird. And I know that it's not everyone's cup of tea. It's not traditional. It's not, um, you know, whatever, but it, like, it makes me so happy to look at. Um, and I think that's what matters. So this was kind of after all those, um, it's not, you know, this isn't the best one. I, but this next one I love. Um, I want to get better at doing text. Um, the way that I do it is I don't think I just kind of like make bubble letters. Um, but I would like to make them look wonkier and weirder, but like cleaner. Um, so that's something I want to practice. But other than that, like this originally was just a swatching page that I did for Patreon. Like we're talking about neon colors. So I, I did my swatching on here and then later I'm like, okay, actually there's other pages. Oh my God. Okay. That's the whole thing. Um, there are other pages filled with swatches, but the other one was neon. So it looked kind of like this. And then I was like, I'm just going to draw over it. Um, I'm going through some stuff with my family, so um, that's kind of what this text is about. I honestly, I, I don't know if I should like really get into it, but I feel like um, I have the type of family that doesn't support my creative endeavors and um, not everyone, but a lot of them. And I feel uncomfortable to share like my thoughts about my creative process. I don't even feel comfortable sharing my stuff with them. And they were the ones who kind of like, you know, pressured me into not doing like the stuff I like to do. Like I remember very um, specifically being told I was wasting paper and stuff when I was younger, which was not, I mean, if I was a person, I would, and I saw a kid using that much paper, I'd be like, uh, yeah, dude, calm it down. But, um, for me personally, it just, it felt so like, I'm not supposed to be doing this. Like I'm not supposed to be expressing myself through this, uh, this means of, of communicating. And, um, yeah, so I just, this stuff is like a little, a little love letter to myself, like to my younger self. That's like, that maybe felt like, that definitely felt like I wasn't allowed to like the things I liked and that um, was kind of like, oh, that's just like stupid kid stuff. And I feel like the older I get, the more I'm like, I'm allowed to like this stuff. I'm allowed to be really into stickers. Like I have very like vivid memories, like looking at stickers when I was a kid, I collected them. Like, I feel like every kid who grew up like in the nineties, early two thousands collected stickers. I mean, kids probably do that now, but I don't know anything about kids. Um, but yeah, like I remember going to these stores, like my part of my family lives in Chinatown in uh, Philly. And we would go to these stores that we called Hello Kitty stores that just had like a ton of stickers. And um, I remember like, you know, begging to buy a couple sheets and, and just like hoarding them for the rest of time. And I feel like this is like, this is the stuff I would have loved as a kid. Like looking at this, like would have made my little tiny brain like explode. And what's funny is like, it's making my uh, big adult brain also explode. Like it's just so exciting and fulfilling. And I feel like I'm trying to get away from that like inner and external force that's constantly telling me to like grow up and get over it and um you know get a real job <laughs> like that sort of stuff so um you know i know this is just a sketchbook tour but i wanted to share that with you because it's important and i feel like 
um, a lot of us kind of hear this narrative of how we are supposed to be as artists and um, how everything we put on the internet needs to be portfolio quality. We need it to all match and go together and it just completely uh, punishes experimentation and change and and trying new things and I think that's a horrible part of the internet so okay long rants aside I'm really happy with this stuff I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but um, it's just so uh, exciting to me and I'm like really pumped about like doing this sort of stuff so that's that um, Okay, and then there's this. I did these swatches also for that video and I wanted to go back and draw on top of it. This is the first layer of a very fat Pikachu. Um, there's like, I just haven't gone back to it, but he looks like a loaf of bread or something. Um, so ignore him, poor boy. Uh, swatches, I don't think I'll be able to draw on top of these because um, like the other ones were like paint and some of it is uh, colored pencil but most of it was not so it was easier to go on top of but this is all colored pencil and it's really dark so this might just stay a swatch page. This is really thick colored pencil too so I'm not sure but some more swatches more swatches again i'm sorry if you hear my cat he's like continually adjusting in the chair and he's a big fat boy um yeah another i did this pretty late at night like after work one day and i wanted to try doing some more like my normal ink drawings like i'm sure you kind of saw in and these um, yeah, here's some Animal Crossing babies. They're really light, I know, I'm sorry. Um, but these like wonky weird drawings with ink and then incorporating some of the other stuff. I am getting less precious about the stickers, which is a good thing because I bought a ton to kind of like fuel this thing. And um, at first I did the thing that I did when I was little, which is like, I don't want to use this one because I love it so much and I need to just keep it, but I'm trying to get over that. So now I'm using more and like filling the page and I feel like it's more exciting to me. Um, but yeah, that's that. Oh my God, guys, this one, this, this one's so good. Um, in my opinion, I'm like just so happy with it. It, it, it makes me so happy to look at. There's like a million different things in here. Like at first I drew this Usagi with, um, I think I drew her with colored pencil first and then I went over with marker and then there's Posca in there and then there's like a like normal pen. Um, this bright pink is actually a Liquitex paint marker, which I don't really like that much, but it's the only neon pink um, marker I have. I just bought some highlighters, which is good. Um, there's like some collage in here. There's tons of stickers, more ink drawings, like packaging. It's a mess. It's a complete mess and I love it so much. It's just so bright and colorful and, um, sparkly. Like, it's just so fun, right? Maybe you'll look at this and be like, this person is stupid. <laughs> but I don't know. It's just, it makes my little 90s, early 2000s brain just explode. <laughs> Here's some swatches, some more. And here's like the beginning, and then I think that's it. This is the beginning of one. I was um, kind of putting stuff together for a trip that I'm taking. Um, and this was like the cast off, like when I was ripping washi tape and it kind of like ripped weird. I just put them in here and then I added a couple of stickers that um, were kind of scattered so I can cut bits off. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, so this is all just like random stuff. I started just sticking it on a page and then I'm gonna draw something. So, okay, there will be a little bit more. I do feel bad. There's a lot of pages in this still. Um, so maybe, maybe I will come back to this, but for now, I'm just excited to move on to the next thing, um, and kind of explore more of this sort of thing, and, um, this one over here. 
yeah so there's a ton there's a ton of stuff in here and I know that this is really rambly and I from what I see like on YouTube most people like short and sweet but that's I'm a long rambly person and I have a lot of thoughts about this and I I feel like you know we kind of need to stick together and there's a lot of people that um, tell me that they like wish that they would have adopted these ideas way before because they also feel a lot of pressure from family or from you know the internet or whatever and I just I you know if I could share a little bit of what I'm going through and it helps someone that's like a good thing maybe um, but hopefully hopefully this was interesting inspiring hopefully you don't hate the work and if you do that's totally fine I'll see you later because I um, it's this is not going away and it's I feel really excited and just happy for the first time in a long time and um, I'm really excited and a little bit nervous to share this work with you because I feel like if especially if you followed me like back in my watercolor days like years ago um, to looking at this now I'm sure you're like what happened who is that person but um, personally for me like I, I feel like my art has always been nostalgia driven and it's just very apparent now. It's pretty gaudy now and I'm into it. Um, so hopefully this was interesting, helpful, whatever. Um, it would really mean the world to me if you subscribed and did all the liking and whatever. And um, check us out on Twitch. It's under Wonko. It's not under Artchu. Um, but the link will be in the description. There's also a link to my Patreon, which is where you can see full sketchbook tours every single month. There's always like a million sketchbooks going at a time. Like I said, this is number 99, so there's a ton of content on there. Um, but that directly supports me and I would really appreciate that. But uh, regardless, I hope you have a wonderful day, night, or whatever, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!